y'all. We are starting out day three of the Arnold Classic. We're at Sunday now. And me and my boo Lauren, we're gonna walk through a couple of my tips and tricks for glutes today. So I'm gonna run you through some kind of underrated exercises that really get that maximum contraction and can really help you in your glute training. I am super excited because Sydney and I both have track and field backgrounds. We're both ex-runners. Do you still like to run now and then? I do. I do. <laughs> a little bit. We love, yeah. we love that track lifestyle. Yeah. So she's really going to be showing me a lot of things that we both learned from our track days and how to incorporate those also into our glute days. Enjoy. Hip rotation. So like on this, I make sure my hips are dropped and this hip isn't raised, so I'm using this. A lot of people go like this and kick. So when I get set, I drop my hips, level them out, dig through the heel here, heel is ready here, and then I push down without letting my hips change. My spine stays neutral, my abs stay tight, and I push straight down, drive it back up, straight down towards the floor, squeeze, drive it back up, and repeat. Also, when you're on this machine, don't kind of like push into it real quick. Stay neutral, stay level, and stay centered, so that way you're not creating one glute bigger than the other, and you're kind of just keeping everything nice and centered, so that way everything stays as even as possible and activates as similarly as possible. Good, get that leg straight. Straight, 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 yep. So D Lauren has the foot dorsi flex perfectly. She's driving through. Now, what I like to do for the glute activation is what I was telling her is to get that knee really, really straight when she kicks back. So that way this is straight and it's all glute, like nothing in the knee. So that way you drive forward like you're running and then you straight. So if you think of it like you're running out of blocks, you're running, this back leg is not necessarily straight, straight, but it's kind of bent, but you're not gonna run like this. You don't run like that necessarily, but at some point you're going like here. It's a forward motion, baby. Like, do I have a glute pump yet? So when you're working other body parts, you want to make sure that you don't put that tension in your upper body so that everything is going straight to those glutes. I used to do that when I ran track too. I would get, oh, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah, every oh. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Well, they say a relaxed run is a fast run. Hell I'm yeah. Like, All right. Hell yeah. Easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, tell me that with 50 meters to That's go in right. the 400. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> ugh, okay. Woo! Good. All right, and that concludes exercise one. We're gonna move on. We should be nice and warm, hips loosey goosey. Feel good. And we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. Feel good. If you wanna do glute focus, a little touch of hamstring, you're gonna do this machine. You're gonna lock your legs in, try a straight leg, and then you're gonna curve your spine and make sure it stays extremely rounded. So I like to lift my feet up because I'm kind of short, so I'll keep it here. When I hinge forward, I'm always here the ground. At this point, I'm keeping my spine rounded. I like to use this right here to round in. And then I'm going to keep my glutes first and pull up. Release. Then your glutes first. So pretty small range up. of motion in Very total. Very small pull. range of motion. Okay. I see those glutes working. Yeah. You don't need to come all the way up here. Because okay. that's the yep. low back. Yep. So we're going to stay rounded. Big squeeze. So here you're going to round. Two, two, three, three. Pull in. Squeeze your butt hole together and then release back down. Squeeze, squeeze booty hole, back in it. So it's it's two squeezes. Yep, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> Am I coming up too high? And squeeze, Tell me squeeze, what to do. Okay. Now pull, 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 pull. There you go, yeah. We call that pinching the penny. <laughs> I pinch know. The penny, booty cheek, squeeze, 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 yeah. See how her spine is perfectly rounded here so that way she's not making her lower back work too much. The focus is all right in this area to make sure this is getting all the blood flow to it. If she were to straighten her back out, it would be all low back. Yep. Now, when you start to engage your low back a lot, in competition especially, you're gonna start blowing your waist out because that is a part of your core. The bigger your low back, the bigger your waist technically is. So always think about that when you're doing a lot of the motion. Wow, I never thought about that. Is literally like a couple inches. You're not even really going anywhere. 
your thing right there, so that you'll feel the blood just kind of pulling all the way around. And then she is doing them perfectly. Thanks, queen. Good. Now, if she were to bend her knees, it would not be the same activation as it is with a straight knee. So pay, att pay attention to how your knees feel with this, because sometimes it can be too much tension on the back of the knee. So sometimes, if it's too much tension there, turn the feet out and that can still get another activation. Woo! There you go. I feel that, baby. Yeah, y'all. I feel like she's taught me so much in this short amount of time, just with like <laughs> that little extra squeeze. And is that like the tie-in uh -huh, area? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like that's something that I never really thought of to do. It, I always thought it was just the one squeeze, but uh -huh. that little tiny just like cue made such a huge difference. Yeah. And like it's obvious that the attention to detail really matters. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel good. I feel like really good in the hamstrings. Oh, yeah. So usually I'll super like I did yesterday. I super those with hip thrusts. Oh, yeah. There be you so just do standard blood. barbell? Um, or you do Smith or what? Those machines. The, um, the oh, machines. so like just for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Round two to the feet turned out. Same concept. I'm going to hover. I'm going to go here. Squeeze, squeeze. Uh. Will you typically do these body weight? Yep. Really? Yep. That's crazy. I bet people assume you lift so heavy, but they it's do. all about the, the contraction. contraction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in prep, if we're trying to maintain fullness back there, I will put weight with it then. Okay. But that's only at the end, like okay. the last 10 weeks. Good. You squeeze it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. So I had Lauren put her hips and her heels are in alignment. So sometimes you can go a little bit wider if that activation feels good for you. You can go a little bit closer sometimes, just depending on your anatomy. If your adducts are a little bit thicker, you might not want to have your feet too close together because you might not feel it in your glute as much. You may feel it more in your adductors. So it just depends on your anatomy and kind of how you want to place it, where you want to feel it. So you can play around with that. Find that foot placing that doesn't hurt your knees, doesn't hurt your low back, and doesn't hurt just anywhere. It should still feel good. Like you should feel a burn versus like a pain, like injury pain. That's when you get that good activation. You want to squeeze that muscle to the maximum contraction so that way you're getting all that blood just flushing into it. And blood equals growth. Good. Keep squeezing. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze gonna do a burnout for you. Keep going. All the way to failure. So the failure means you cannot do any more. So it doesn't mean, oh, it hurts. It means I can't physically get back up or squeeze my butt anymore. And so I can always tell what some of this failure is. So Lauren has at least 15 more in her. That's 15. Good. Big squeeze. 14. Good. Keep going. Last one. 13. Big squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yep. Keep going. It's all 12. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yeah. Last 11. Good. Come on. 10, 10, 10, good. Last one. Give me nine. Good. Keep going, keep going. Last eight. Squeeze. Good. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Good. Last six. Keep squeezing. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Keep moving. Last five. Good. One more. Big squeeze. squeeze, 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 good. Keep going, keep pulling, pull, pull, pull. Last one, squeeze, good. Last two, come on. Big squeeze, big squeeze, 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 good. One more. You're gonna hold the top of this last one. Come up, 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 squeeze, hold, 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 push, 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 keep holding. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, come on, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, fire it up, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> so, for those of you who don't want to lift a lot of weight, especially if your glutes go really, really fast and you just want to get some blood into them, 
You can do a nice little isometric hold and just hold that bad boy there. Burn them up, get them activated, and then just really push that last little button there by just holding it really, really, really hard. So that way that oh. last little bit, you maximize that muscle and be ready for the next exercise. So we're moving on to oh more God. fun things. My hamstrings are lit. <laughs> oh, girl. Thank you, you're the best. Yeah, welcome. Oh my God. about a one or two count each rep. Say it again. We're gonna hold a one or two count each rep. So that's why we're taking the reps down. Gotcha. So it's one, little pause two. at the top. Yep, okay. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. All yep. the way like that for that stretch? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Squeeze. Yep. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. And the key with this version is let those knees open at the bottom, let them open, let them open, and squeeze together. Up, 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 yeah! There you go. Good. Good. Perfect tempo. Good. Very good. 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 Right on over. Yeah, grab it right there. Let this rest a little more. Yeah. That's one. Good. Two. Two. Good. Good. So a lot of time I'll choose like the, the rep pace based on the music that's happening in the area, the music I'm listening to. So we're catching a beat technically. So the two and three count is to the beat of the song, the slower beat. Good. Yep. Big squeeze. Good. My upper body was just so tense. Yep. <laughs> I was like, relax, girl. <laughs> Good. Good, big squeeze, yep. Perfect. Perfect. Woo, I like those. Right. Oh. Now, for those of you, like you'll notice sometimes if you get up too quickly, oh, you have to rush your head a little bit. So be careful where you place your abdomen and where you place your pelvis. Because sometimes like, if I do them and I'm not placed properly, I'll like this little rush of blood in my uh -huh. head. Like you're not front. breathing right yeah, almost. Like yeah, like something's a little off like, yeah. yeah, so get up slowly. Get up slowly. slowly. Yeah. And then take your time and make sure you're not pushing into anything that's gonna make you uncomfortable. You'll be able to see mm -hmm. kind of like where you want to place yourself based off of how you felt that first day. Neutral. Okay, so up. not the heels not in. Okay. Okay. Yep, straight up. Did we change our upper body for this set? We did, didn't we? Okay. So we had elbows on the we had elbows on the bench this time. Forearms. Okay, yeah, you gotta put your heads up. Okay. Gotcha. Little cobra, yep. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, and then go bring the knees forward some. Yep, and then open the legs more. Yep, and let those feet touch the ground. 
All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Just like yeah, tap them? Yeah, exactly. Yep. All the way in, all the way in, 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 in. Yep. Perfect. Smooth motion, smooth motion. Smooth on up, smooth. Exactly. Clap, so. Yep. Exactly. Ooh, I like yeah, that. Yeah. Exactly. I like that whole thing. Let it rest. That's two. Good. Keeping the legs straight, right? Yep. Okay. Dead straight, yep. Three, watch this turn out. So, like that? Turn. Right there, yep. Okay. There you go. Yep. Good. Good. Keep working. Last one. Good. Big squeeze, big squeeze. Good. Big squeeze, good. Last one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yep. Good. Good. Perfect. Good. And if you slowly get up, ease up. But I think this helps with the blood flow. Exactly. Because your head isn't dropping. Yeah, your so chin you're not is still going, like, kind of neutral. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not kind of popping up yeah. too quick. So that was, that's a good You know when you like stand up too fast when yes. you get out of bed in the morning? Yes. It's kind of like that, yes. yeah. So we want to avoid that, that. yes. yes. <laughs> Training is hard enough without having the blood right. rush to your head. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was that good. That was good. Our glute workout for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed it with me and my boo here. Yes, we love learning tricks of the trade yes. from the best of the best. So, always a pleasure. And yes, yeah, hope you guys learned something. I know I did. Was that good? <laughs>